Hello everyone, it's Ryan Kandera back again at the Slaughterland Movie Podcast. This time we are doing probably the ultimate answer for Jaws in B-movie form. Dara and I gush over this movie, <laughs> Alligator, from 1980. Dara, when we found out that this movie was coming out in 4K, you and I practically were lining up to any store that would have it, mm. let alone online. What yeah, is it about yeah. this movie that just draws so many people to it? I don't know. I think there was a lot of Jaws ripoffs around the time, and along with Piranha, I think this is one of the better ones. I mean, directed by Lewis T, who also did Cujo, Cat's Eye, Jewel of the Nile. Uh, John Sayles wrote it, who wrote Piranha and The Howling and and a little sci-fi movie. I don't know if you ever saw it with George Pappard called Battle Beyond the Stars. Do you yes. remember that? Yeah, yes. yeah. Um, John Sayles, great writer. Piranha and, and Alligator like to not mimic, but like to Take copy the, the style of Jaws <laughs> with the tongue in the cheek, but not yeah. so much that it was ridiculous. And he got the tone right in both this and in Piranha. And I just think it's, it's a great script and uh, a great vehicle for Robert Forster, who I actually really admired as an actor. How much of a bitch was it to build a 40 foot alligator? It looks so good, even today. Even There's the baby where... alligator they use, and they do the miniatures. Ladies yeah. and gentlemen, when you see the overhead shot, and you say, that's a pretty good animatronic. It's not an animatronic. It's not a practical effect. That's a real baby alligator that they used coming up through the uh, through the sewer ground and walking through the streets. I mean, yeah. that's what this thing was all about. <laughs> it was they, they built the head, they built the back. They built the middle, you know, they used it for certain shot, shots. Sometimes it didn't work, so they had to manually open up heads and everything like that. And then someone got the genius idea and saying, you know what, we can make, get a baby alligator to do what we want him to. It's not going to be like baby piranha or baby sharks. This guy can go yeah. on land. And I have yeah, one right yeah. here. <laughs> and that baby <laughs> alligator went on to be a pair of shoes afterwards. <laughs> Yeah, the, the the alligator stuff is terrific. I mean, oh. there's there's you know the bit when it's coming out of the sidewalk. It looks so good, and and the the wedding party and all that kind of thing. It's just like, wow, look oh. what you've done here. And this is 1980, um, a violent movie as well, right mm -hmm. from the get go, where we see the little girl. Um, I mean, it starts in the 60s, doesn't it? So it yeah. starts in the 60s. A young girl's parents uh, uh, take her to an alligator show and the, she sees one of the trainers getting attacked. And then we fast forward a little bit and she has her own little alligator, which eventually her father flushes down the toilet where it lives in the sewers. And we catch up with the story 12 years later in of New York. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but there's a reason why it's surviving down there. Yeah. What is this thing? Is it? It's a poultry experiment or something like that? Is it? It's it's they, they do uh, metabolism, speeding mm. up uh, an animal's metabolism. They're experimenting on dogs, the yeah. bastards who also cut the vocal cords so they don't have, have to bark. Yeah, and then when they're done testing them, they just throw them down the throw sewer. Throw them in the sewer, yeah. And the alligator. But the whole thing them. was to was to test for for use on chickens or something, wasn't it? So that chickens would get bigger or something and to get more meat out of them well, yeah exactly yeah yeah, yeah. you know and because the meat. alligator eats the dogs who've got this drug in it then the alligator gets bigger, gets bigger itself yeah. Yeah. yeah 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 monstrous makes sense right they're doing yeah. that now with yeah. chickens yeah. there's a reason why you know uh, these 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 poor children we have around now are actually hitting uh, hitting puberty you know like in 10 when they're 10 and 9 you know, it's it's because we're doing been it eating now. stuff in your sewer. That's yeah, yeah, they're eating. Yeah, the kids are eating shit in the sewers. That's what it is. <laughs> That's our school lunches in the country. Uh, okay, your best character, and there's only one really. There is. There's only one. David Madison, Robert Forster, yeah. great actor that oh. I've always really enjoyed watching. Whether he's Quentin working Tarantino with favorite. Tar yeah, whether he's working with Tarantino or whether he's. Um, Unfortunately, you know, we don't want to go too much into his character in Delta Force, but he was good in Delta Force. But, yeah. you know, that, that, that was um, sucking a, a fingers. Controversial in that film. Um, and yeah, a, a, a really classy American character actor that in this film I think is great. And another movie where he's, you know, the, the butt of jokes because he's balding a little bit. Yeah. 
And they added it in there. And the he actually, go. They actually said that helped him with coming to that realization. And they said, just, he was going just to add thin. it in there. And he goes, oh, you're balding too. He's like, what? And <laughs> it helped him. The cast and the crew, they would add it into the movie. And it would make him feel more relaxed. Because he was self-conscious of it. Yeah, yeah. Excellent. Yep. Good for him for being, and, you know... <laughs> And Robin Riker looks beautiful in this movie. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. What has Gorgeous. she been in? What else has she been in? Was it Dallas or something like yeah, that? Yeah. She's done a lot of um, TV dramas and soaps. Yeah. Um, still alive with us, you know, uh, and uh, gorgeous woman. Gorgeous. Yeah. Um, yeah. She's good. I agree with you. Yep. David Madison. Um, mm. Your worst character. Well, if you notice at 37 minutes... Fat Bastard from Austin Powers is in this film. <laughs> he, he's the guy who, who develops the photographs from the journalist who's gotten eaten down there and the camera's yeah. gone off. Did you yeah. notice that guy? I did. I did. It's Fat Bastard. I smell like hot, sick ass and a dead carcass. He you know, rubs you the wrong way. There aren't many bad characters in this film, and so I just thought I'd pick on him because okay. of his resemblance to Mike Myers. <laughs> would Would you find it sacrilege that I said that I think um, Henry Silva, Colonel Brock, is the worst one of the worst characters? You see, I thought he was fun. He's like a kind of game hunter, isn't he? That that comes into. Um, think he, about I thought this. he was. Kind of, he's he died the, kind the of cool. wrong way. Yeah. He did. <laughs> what, he, what do you mean he died the wrong way? He died in a pile of trash. <laughs> but he's kind of the quint of this film, isn't he? He is. Uh, he uh, is. And, and, well, as, as short a time that he's in this movie, he's kind of the quint. And there's that really awkward moment, which is, well, we'll Hiring get to that. Hoods to look out for him. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We'll get to him in a bit, I think, because I want to yeah. incorporate him into my best, into my worst line. But so, um, but but Darren, I, th he's underutilized. Mm, yes, he's underutilized in this movie. He dies by getting tra You know, the, how does an alligator learn how to hide behind a, 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 a trash bag filled with used needles and diapers? For Christ's sakes! <laughs> and he's just looking around. I don't there. know. Just... <laughs> <laughs> he's like some guy, you know, like you know, like the, the, in, in some of these war movies uh, that are turned into comedies that hold up a twig in front of their face so you can't see him. Yeah. That's what, yeah, what this alligator did. And, you know, when they show him actually getting chopped on, he's just, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> I, I still think that that effect is great, that practical He gets swallowed whole. <laughs> he does. But he starts with him, is he's across his mouth. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, the next shot, he's kind of halfway down his throat. I don't know how he kind of turned Chow him around. around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, for me, I could just because, you know, Colonel Brock, Henry Silva is underutilized he's mm. underutilized in this movie and uh, yeah uh okay your best line <laughs> it's near the start when they're at the sewage farm do you call them sewage farms in the u.s a sewage plant same thing okay and we call them sewage farms over here i don't, I don't know why what are you but... growing <laughs> shit <laughs> <laughs> um and and the, the 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 coroner's there and he says we found a big toe nothing but a big toe never found the rest of him but we figured out who it was. Had a funeral and everything. And Robert Foster just kind of looks at him and goes, It's been a pretty small casket. Fucking <laughs> 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 cheesy. It's a great line. I love it. It's just the way his face is calculating it all. And he just must have been a pretty small casket. I love it. Although it was a really cool line. <laughs> uh, my best line is also at the beginning because Robin Riker's character is the one who owned the alligator. It was her mm. father was the one that flushed the toilet. And the reason yeah, why yeah. he flushed the toilet, flushed the alligator down the toilet, he also did the same thing for their gerbils. You know, a barrel mm. at sea, he called them. But the one thing that pissed him off about this pet alligator is him saying, there's alligator turds behind the clothes hamper. <laughs> so the this, so this little girl had this thing wandering around and it shit all over the place. <laughs> but something like that, like you know, I never, I the only small pet I ever had growing up with were newts, kind of like you know salamanders. Mm. Yeah, and I would take them out, and you know, me being a kid thinking they were cute, they're really trying to run away from me because they think I'm a predator. 
Yeah, of uh, course. Yeah, there's just like, like he finally let me down. I gotta get the fuck out of here. And this big fucking hand comes down and tries to grab him, you know. And they would piss and shit all over the place. And I can understand why this uh, Robin Riker's father's going. We got alligator turns behind the clothes hamper. All right, time to go. <laughs> <laughs> just made me think of me as a father now you know and, yeah yeah you know my kids wanting rabbits now a little fucking rabbit jumping around leaving turds all over the place that's all we so need. in in your line of work you ever had to deal with a gator at all yes i you did have yeah i have we've had a couple of um someone just released in a, in a lake and then mm-hmm. we have to call fish and wildlife you know fishing games or, or or the, the division of state wild uh, wildlife they come out with a snare pole which i also have they go out in a boat and i'm like oh, you're not getting me on that fucking boat out there with a fucking alligator you fuck you i'm staying <laughs> on land and dealing with birds and dogs and cats um we also had a guy who was who owned an exotic pet store that uh went out of business and he would have an iguana in a big 10 foot case and then he would also have an alligator a small caiman and yeah. Sure enough, you put a snare pole around him, fucking death roll. That's all you fucking did yeah, was the yeah, death roll. Yeah. yeah. Oh my Twenty five thousand dollar fine, Darren. Really? Wow. Yes. We don't have anything like that over here. We don't even have the newts you were on about, I don't think. Oh, we have salamanders. We do. The salam- I don't think we have salamanders. Maybe well, so I'm, I'm saying that. Shops. You couldn't sell anything exotic, hamsters. right? <laughs> hamsters. Rabbits? <laughs> Rabbits, hamsters. Maybe the old grass snake or something like that. But that, that's yeah, it. No, we don't really have pet shops anymore. They kind of private breeders, aren't they? You know, but no sugar gliders, nothing like that. What the hell is a sugar glider? A sugar glider is a uh, kind of like a squirrel. You know? no. no, is it one of those that flies? Like, yeah, yep. Okay. They got those like the kind of got those big eyes. They stare at no, you. We don't have they anything got little, like that. little hands. They hold on to you. You can we, put them we, in your pocket. Got, boring creatures over here we've got nothing that's thankfully nothing that's deadly that's going to kill you bite you eat you anything like that nothing at all no, no bears ticks, nothing maybe t- I, I don't know i've never seen a tick maybe Golf, we have them goldfish goldfish betas right yeah, betas. Goldfish. yeah we got goldfish oh so you guys have a nice <laughs> Even they're imported i know uh you and zoe have a nice aquarium set up in your house i know that the cats look at all day no. Oh, okay. You don't want to clean the fucking uh, fish thing. Fish, <laughs> you'll eat them, right? That's fine. <laughs> you know, because because fish and chips are good with the beer at the pub. Yeah, uh, of course. yeah. Of course. All right. Um, okay. Your worst line. Okay. Now you'll probably do a good impression of this. I can't do this at all. I was just even like Zoe was watching this with me today, and we were looking at the screen and and couldn't quite believe what was happening i haven't seen this film for a long time i do love it yeah. but the moment when colonel brock's talking to that reporter about the different noises that alligators make and everything <laughs> i knew you would do it <laughs> <laughs> and he said they're going <laughs> they're making all these bizarre noises <laughs> I, I felt awkward for him didn't you? No. <laughs> but it's, I mean, you hate the character anyway, but yeah. um, it's not, I didn't, it's not particularly funny, is it? Even Zoe no. was laughing her head off and I was like, what are you laughing at? This is this stupid. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's stupid. Yeah. So that was my worst line, even if it is a line, it's not really, but that was my worst moment of noise coming from someone's mouth. <laughs> Noise cover somebody's mouth. I love how you said Frank can make these noises. I know he can. I <laughs> knew you know it. That's all. I yeah. knew you'd be able yeah. to replicate. You know, yeah, do the it. weirdest. The weirdest sound, ladies and gentlemen, is you ever hear a pissed off squirrel when it's trying to come oh, really? at you. Oh man, they, they chatter. And then you know they're going to attack. My worst line is uh, coming from uh, David Madison, and mm. this is probably. A line close that I said to uh, my wife on our first date uh, was, uh, what does anybody need anybody for? What's the country's leading uh, herpetologist? You have a beautiful mind, a doctor's degree, and beautiful tits. (laughs) (laughs) From the Frank Riker School of Charm. 
Yeah. <laughs> you have a great mind. Beautiful tits. <laughs> <laughs> and they continue to make out. Yeah. Jeez. But then he kind of, he, he does kind of re- reveal his Achilles heel after that. When he starts saying, are you looking at my hair or something? Like when they're in bed. Yeah. <laughs> he kind of talks like about his. No. <laughs> uh, your best kill. I think it's Brock in the alleyway. Really? Okay. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's it's the Quint, like you said. It's the Quint death of this movie. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Over, no, I kind of like that. Underwhelming. Moment. Underwhelming. But go ahead. No, I think it's it's. I think all the alligator kill, especially the 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 the, um, the kill at the start of the movie at the show when she's a little girl. Mm-hmm. It, there's something that feels real about that. There's something that feels like it could almost be Faces of Death or something that you're watching. Um, because you do get a shot of the croc doing the death roll on the leg. Uh, I know the guy gets away, but it's there's something... The way that it's shot, there's something that feels a bit kind of... But they took stock a, a footage. A bit fly on the wall or something, yeah, you know what I mean? yeah. Um, and then you got the guy on the boat who gets both his legs ripped off, which is they obviously used some um, amputee or something for that for that moment. And it's very similar to the moment in Piranha when the old guy's lifted out of the water. He's 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 been sat on the do- on the dock, and the, the piranhas have eaten his legs off. He's I wonder if that's the same actor away. because there there was a paraplegic uh, Vietnam veteran who mm. uh, became uh, who was also in. Um, the remake of uh, Dawn of the Dead. Um, okay. He did this mm. uh, because it was real and they, they could do it safely. Uh, and he's he was he did a great he had a great living doing this. There's there's something kind of real about it. Maybe you they used the his, maybe they used his legs that they saved. <laughs> yeah, could have been, could have been. But no, I think some of the some of the um, death scenes in this film it was what always struck me as a kid watching it with my dad that that it was pretty pretty out there in terms of the um in terms of the blood and the gore yeah um particularly at the wedding scene later on yeah actually uh, you you are going into my best kill and that is the wedding kills mm. um everyone in that fucking place deserved it every single one <laughs> yeah. you know the maybe not the maybe not the uh, I, I don't think she's a maid but she was part of the I guess the, the she was like a hostess or a mm. server. You know, they're chomping down on her. And the guy who's uh, forming these experiments, he fucking dies. Slade <laughs> dies, you know, getting crushed to death. And the yeah, mayor is yeah. getting shoved into the, the you know, uh, they, they just picked him up. They all get picked him up and shoved him into Slade's limo, just banging yeah. him back and forth. Fantastic kills. It that, looks those, amazing, doesn't oh, it? Oh, the, the wedding scene, that wedding yeah. party. Yeah, oh, fantastic. Yeah. This thing doesn't... Now, ladies and gentlemen, alligators can run 35 to 40 miles an hour on land really quick in straight lines. If you want to get rid of an alligator, you you zigzag because it can't keep up with you. Um, this thing's walking around slowly, isn't it? It's like... You can yeah, hear yeah. this thing. Well, it's so big. This yeah, thing it's, doesn't it's, move that fast, I don't think. But if you couldn't go around them, can't you? You just fucking swatch you with that tail. You'd be good. <laughs> yeah. Those are my best... That's my best kill is the wedding kills. Yeah, it was only yeah. going to be my best moment, but I wasn't going to pick two of them uh, to prefer the same cat- the same one for two categories. Um, your worst kill. Worst kill? They killed a kid, Donald. Yeah, jumping off the well. He's pushed off the uh, diving he walked board. The plank. And, yeah, and uh, and that's it. We don't see him again. We just kind of see the water <laughs> go red. Literally, we don't see him again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just thought brave. Brave shoved, back then, shoved in by his own brothers, mm. as a joke. See, this movie breaks a lot of rules, doesn't it? Because they kill kids and they kill dogs. The yeah. two things that normally survive are going in droves in this film. <laughs> now, let me ask you something. Now, the, Donald saw this happening and he screamed for his life. Mm. And yeah. when his mom turned on the light, because she's like, "All right, throw him in. I'll turn on the light so you can see." And yeah. you see the alligator's mouth open. Yeah. And yeah. and the kid knew he was going to fall in and die. Mm-hmm. Would you put this as, where do you see this fitting, like with Jaws with Alex Kittner? Do you think this one's worse? I think this one's god awful. I mean, worse really? is an emotion. 
I don't think um, Alex. I don't think Alex Kittner was was that much of a of a, of a surprise. It didn't affect me as much as Donald because this one hmm. really affected me. I mean, the Kittner kill is certainly more brutal. Okay. Um, yep. Than this one. Um, but Donald saw it coming. Yeah. Yeah. I guess so. I guess so. I never really thought about that. And your brothers um, pushed you, killed you. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. No, it's a tough one, isn't it? It's a tough one. Um, it is a nasty sequence, even though there's very, it leaves, you know, it leaves it all to the imagination, doesn't it? You don't see very much apart from a quick flash of the croc and, 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 the, and the water turning red. Croc, alligator, and the water turning red. Um, you see the kid go into the mouth, though. It's just not as graphic as, as the, uh, the, the Jaws kill with the kid is horrific, I think. I think the, the Jaws kill's stronger for me. I think the Donald kills because you hear that kid scream mm. and no, and you know, he's looking at it. Alex Kidder just got, you know, the wind knocked out of him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I but can't Alex, believe we're having this conversation. Yeah, well, yeah, ladies and Which gentlemen, this would be a pull up better. later. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you think's a better child death, Alex Kittner or Donald, the little pirate boy? <laughs> oh, okay. Um, yeah, so you're both agreeing. It's it's just a startling, mm -hmm. not worst kill as in, you know, it's it's a bad effect or anything like that. It's just it's hard to watch. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. All right, your best moment. The wedding party. There's just carnage, isn't it? It's oh. like. You know, it's, it's, it's yeah. Whatever you you know, it compares to the likes of um, the, the the pond in Jaws or um, uh, the the the, the riverboat party in Piranha. Um, th this is their version of that, and and it's just all out carnage with the the the, the alligator breaking up the wedding and throwing people around. And, and he objected the, to the, the matrimony, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Does anyone what here you who think object? Of, <laughs> what did you think to the bit when the guy's trying to chat up the girl and the old boy at the side is just kind of finishing his sentence all the time? Yeah. <laughs> That's a funny moment. It's That's comical. a really funny moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but no, the, the whole wedding sequence and then subsequently, you know, the finale and everything um, is is great. You know, this alligator looks more realistic than Bruce did in Jaws, I think. Yeah, and they actually used them, like we said, a little baby alligator, you know, mm. for real. Um, yeah, you know, you and I, we can agree that, you know, it's your best moment. It's my best kill. There's something about that wedding party, the uh, reception. Mm. There's something about that. I could watch that all day. The blood, the slamming of people into cars. Yeah. Slade, who's this piece of shit. Uh, who's in charge of this company um, who's doing the experiments on dogs gets his just desserts and the alligator is banging his tail and smashing him down on him and the mayor oh it's just it's yeah, great it's, tough, it's it? absolutely great but my best moment is the one that makes me laugh every time I watch this movie is that river boat jump scene in the grenades <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought you were gonna say the bit when he gets his ass pinched in the in the tunnel. But... But, um, no, I know because that's always fun as well. Because they do a kind of mock Jaws mo uh, music, yeah. don't they? To it, yeah, so. yeah. No, it's it's that whole thing. You know, they're pulling the the person out. You know, of the water, his legs are gone. Every, there's so much confusion. The boat, you know, jumps up on top of land. The no one, the fucking pins pulled out of one of them. An explosion happens. It's just made me fucking laugh. The chaos that this little thing is. Yeah. Well, not little, but this thing is uh, is caused. Uh, that everyone's just like it reminds me of also Jaws, where everyone's going out to hunt, uh, yeah, hunt Bruce, and everyone's like, what, the, "What is he doing? He's chumming. What the fuck is chumming? You know, he's chumming <laughs> the water now." And he's like, "Ah, get out of here! You're on my starboard bow." You know, they're all yelling at each other. Yeah. It's that same confusion. Yeah. But then yeah. no one. Well, actually, they did have dynamite in Jaws, didn't they? They did. That's one of them, isn't there, where they're chucking lumps of dynamite. That's the first Jaws, isn't it? They're yeah. chucking lumps of dynamite out. Well, well no one died from jump. dynamite like this like this bunch of people oh, died no, from exactly. grenades. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Great movie. Great really cool movie. movie. We were, yeah. We've been meaning to get to this movie, 
and uh, I am so glad it came out in 4K and the special features and the behind the scenes and the commentary are just to gush over for. I haven't They're, checked oh. any of that stuff out. I literally just unwrapped it today to watch the film. Are they worth going through? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Seeing the alligator and everything. The only thing I didn't get to was the commentary by Robert Forster. Forster. Um, but other than that, I mean, you watch it just because. Um, another mm -hmm. one I want to do, ladies and gentlemen, is the best and worst of Kingdom uh, Kingdom of the Spiders with William Shatner. <laughs> I want to get to that. Maybe we could do that with Ronnie and Blake. You know, because that would be fun. You know, Ronnie and Blake, if you want to do Kingdom of the Spiders with William Shatner, uh, because I ordered that. <laughs> And there's a special edition that came out with William Shatner commentary. Oh, wow. He did one. Wow. You know, could you imagine if they made a Halloween movie with the Donald Pleasant's commentary? Like they had it. They re-released it. Yeah. There, and you and I great. would buy another, buy a whole bunch of those, wouldn't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So uh, anything else before we end the best and worst of Alligator? Well, I was going to ask you if you ever saw the sequel. Oh, God, Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> How yeah. is it? Because I've seen it and I can't remember it at all. Um, I saw it years ago. Yeah, it's 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 okay. Is, it's is it Alligator Reborn two, or uh, Alligator Two. The mutation. That's the mutation. It. The mutation. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um you know, yeah, it's it's updated by ten years or something like that, but yeah. it's just yeah. yeah, it's not as good as this one. No. I mean yeah. you have Robin Riker, you have you have you have Robert Forrester in this and you have an actual alligator, baby alligator. Mm. and people being crushed and eaten. What more is there <laughs> to ask for a mutated alligator movie? This is yeah. the creme de la creme, the mother of it them is. all. It is. It's great stuff. <laughs> <laughs> all right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're trekking along here, the opening of 2023. We're having a lot of fun. The year is starting out very well, and um, hopefully it continues this way, and hopefully everybody out there had a nice New Year's Eve and all of you are healthy, and uh, we're wishing you the best. And uh, that's about it. Yeah, we got some Halloween content we're trying to push out. We are. We're, we're thinking about how we're going to do it, but yeah, yeah nuts hang and in bolts. There. We'll get there. We're, we're trying to go <laughs> over it, um, but yeah, we got some more stuff, which will probably lead to more other stuff and a lot of arguing, which we're good, <laughs> <laughs> which we love doing anyway. Uh, but yeah, uh, Darren, anything else? Is that nope. it? We're all okay. good. We're all good. All right. Don't buy animals you can't take care of and don't flush them down the toilet. Don't. Exactly. Don't do that. <laughs> don't buy any birds what, that what don't. What animals would you flush down the toilet over there? Fish, of course. Fish. But the problem is, though, a lot of you, if you live in the cities, they go into the public sewer. But a lot of us, they go into our, our fucking septic tank outside our outside our house so every three years or whatever your local ordinances say in your municipalities you have to lift up the shit tin uh yeah. lid and suck out all your goop and your shit and but who no one needs to see every three turds. years every three years yep because of the size oh. and you gotta lift it up it has been fermenting no one needs to see <laughs> dead animals corn and condoms <laughs> in your septic <laughs> And if you're, if that's the combination you have in your septic, that's a party. <laughs> and I'm not now. I'm gonna go pump my shitter because it's full. <laughs> As always, stick to the roads. Have the best of luck. See you later. Bye bye. <laughs>